with that, what you're saying, yeah, about using the experiences and uh, talking about your the previous question as well. Do you think there's ever a time that you see less becoming more open source? Isn't it? I would say that there's. I would say I wouldn't say that less is open source. I wouldn't say that it's entirely closed. But I don't think we've seen that many changes to say the rules or the. Well, so maybe that's it. I mean, what we're we talking about here when I say open source, are we talking about the? You've got contribution to the experiments and perhaps contribution towards the guides, but then when it comes to the rules and the frameworks, yep. it feels like there is an there's an element of like uh, it opens up the further you get outside of the bullseye. Yeah. So do you... But is, wouldn't that be similar to an open source product where probably in most open source products, the, the core of the product rarely does, does get uh, much changes and the surroundings tend to get more changes. Mm. But like if I, but... if I would compare that, I, I actually do maintain some, some open source uh, projects as you, as you know and uh, most of the con there's very rarely contributions that you know in this case a test automation tool for example that would uh, change the test the actual test runner the, the, the core of how you run the test yeah. it doesn't change much but for example if that we haven't seen much change, let's say, if you, when you go onto the less website and you look at the surrounding elements to around technical excellence, for example, and some of the things that are included within technical excellence, there hasn't been any noticeable evolution on those uh, on the content of those pages, perhaps. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, or, or, or contributions. I mean, one of the things that I... I know we've spoken about this, I think we've spoken about it briefly, uh, <laughs> maybe a year or so ago, but around less huge and product ownership and the product owner team. You know, I think there's some good, there's probably some really good stuff out there which could be contributed. And are you saying that it's not, the, the fact that it hasn't evolved isn't because it can't, it's just the fact the contributions aren't being made? No, I, 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 that I, I don't think so either. I, I think the, the main contributions and are, uh, within the case st studies where people are you know, sharing their uh, their their experiments a and what is lacking still is the um, the the ability to move experiments out of case studies or contribute to experiments in a structured way um, but if you look at like the rules the the, the rules ended up being rules as you know elevated experiments uh from you know the the very beginning of when when we started to work in this way so therefore i would expect that if we had a, if we have a, a better way of uh, contributing experiments then the, the changes to the rules would only happen rarely since it's if you wish, the core of the system, and, and would only happen when an, you know, an, an elevated experiment, when we say, you know, this experiment, um, we've started considering it fundamental. Right? And, and you see that already a, a little bit, like the, the, the multi-team refinement being yeah. you know, more emphasized than... Uh, that, five years ago or so and and uh, so th there's aspects that are changing but they're coming out of the the experiences and the in in less we want we'd like the experiences to be to be documented in in experiments and mm -hmm. what is so the, the contributions are there but what is definitely lacking still is the you know, the, the the structure to be able to to uh, to take the experiments out of case studies, um, take the old experiments uh, and have them available in a structured way. 
mm. and 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 that's what I think could could be significantly improved. Is that something on the backlog, or is that a in the moment consideration? It's it's it's. I think it's always been on the backlog, and let's hope it will not always stay on the backlog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's the age of that item, Martin? Um, and if people, and before we move on to the next question, if if people out there have case studies that they would like to share, is it only people that are candidate-less trainers who are going, who then become trainers who can publish case studies? Or is, this, is there other mechanisms by which people can contribute their own lived experiences with using less? Um... I, I, you know, as the the actual case studies, I, I don't think you you need to be an a candidate trainer to contribute a case study. Uh, however, we we do want to keep the current uh, bottlenecky process for reviewing case studies because you know a lot a lot of. Um, case studies once you dig a little bit deeper you'll notice that it's not really not really what what the yeah you know, the case study doesn't really describe what it is so therefore we have a fairly thorough um uh, uh review process that tends to change the case study significantly and, and i do think that's what we want to keep and and that i think that also relates very much to your your first question where we want the case studies not to be salesy but we want the case studies to share experience yeah i would probably so i i would love to uh yeah for that bottleneck to be uh for the capacity to be increased for the like simultaneous reviews or for the throughput to be increased. Because I know that it's something that people that come on my courses do often ask is, where are the new case studies? Like, where can we find the latest information? And I think that because of the, um, not because of the rigor, but because of the elapsed time yeah. in getting yeah. the case studies out there, I think that they, at times, we it lose, they perhaps lose some of their relevance because by the, they, they, of course, everything's out of date at the moment. It's kind of out there anyway. Um, but I think that there's sometimes that, that, that elapsed time does make them less relevant than perhaps they could be. That, that I don't know, but, um, you know, we've, as, as you know, we've, we've attempted to, um, increase the quality of the case studies through the, the, uh, candidate trainer mentoring. And, and therefore now, uh, usually whenever people write case studies, they, they work with a, a, a mentor. And and then you know, some of the mentors are great, and some uh, could could be better mentors. Um, but the 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 effect of some of that is that um, the case studies coming in have been uh, already um, of a much much higher quality. Um, but also the they've they've been just much bigger. Like that, if I look at the the pipeline right now, there's two or three over 100 page case studies uh in in the pipeline and you know usually i i only need to uh, I, i'm doing that that if you wish the um the sanity checker usually for the process so i only get to read them once and then say yes or no uh, but even that is already taking a lot of time when you you get a case study of uh what was the last one that that uh, hopefully will be published this year? Let me have a look. What is the? Uh, uh, I'll be misusing the fact that I'm um, in an o online environment. <laughs> yeah, it's 150 something. It's just insane. Wow, um, that is a lot. That is a lot. They're they're good and they're you know to to link that back to the open sourceness. There's a lot of uh, good experiments in there, and I I think they contribute a lot. But they do need to be in a in a bit more yeah 
in the future in a bit more um what's the word consumable way because now they'll end yeah. up as a as a one page html document on the left side and it's not perhaps the best form no but the case studies are are brilliant and i think i'm i think i'm guessing that i'm there's always room for improvement and i i do i have loved going through case studies um but I'm sure that I could do. I could need some improvement. So yeah, any feedback would be more than more than welcome. Um, but I really love that process of get working with a candidate trainer, going through the case study, getting to learn more about the different contexts and the experiments and their struggles. It's a very enjoyable process. I do very much enjoy it. Haven't done it now for a year. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll need to I'll, I'll need to hook one. you up with some new uh, mentees then. Huh? Please do, please do. I, uh, I do. I, I thoroughly enjoy mentoring. 